All right, Shalom to the elect, whom you all the praise of honor and glory, to whom the rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shara, Kashim, Akaf, Adash. All right, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh means He, and Yahweh means to be or exist. So Yahweh means He to be or He exists. All right, Bahashim means in the name, Ba means him, Ha means the, and Shem means name. All right, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Okay, Yahweh means He, and Yahweh Shai means save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai means He is the Savior, right, or He is the deliverer. Okay, and Yahweh is one of the world everyone calls God, and Yahweh Shai is one of the world everyone calls Jesus. Okay, and they're not white men. All right, they are so called, you know, so called black men. Okay. Hashem, once again, meaning in the name, we call for Dash, meaning the Holy Spirit. We call meaning Spirit, and for Dash, meaning Holy. So that's a little praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles, obey millstone every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Alright? So, hey, you know, this, this lesson is pretty much going to, you know, we want the Lord to, you know, destroy our enemies. Okay, you know, we do, you know, we want to get out of here, man. All right, this is so real quick. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51. It's a lot, man. There's some noise. It's about to give a buckle shot, bear me one second. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to the void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper the thing whereto I sent it. So the Lord's word, all right, is going to be performed. It's going to happen. All right. So we're reading the prophecies. This is one of the prophecies that's going to happen. The book of Isaiah 14 and 5. Yahweh Bashmiah Shah has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Who's the wicked? Let's get it. Let's see where the wicked is. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1. And verse 4 says, Whereas Edom, say it in Hebrew, Edom is out of one. Okay? Who are the Edomites today? The so called white people. Alright? They. Their true nationality, true identity, right? Like the Edomites, okay? They're not, you know, their their nationality isn't, you know, Greek. They posed to they posed to be as you know different names and things, you know, Greek, Romans, Americans, etc. They're really the Edomites, okay? Are the woman, young making the plural? All right, so this is whereas Edom saith, 
we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. So like he says, they shall build, but I will throw down, and shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai hath indignation forever. Okay? You know? So it's in the border of wickedness. Okay? And who, who was talking about? Esau. So Edom. So Esau, aka the so-called white man, is known as what? The wicked. Alright? So let's read Isaiah 14 and 5 again. It says, The Lord, when Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Alright? So the Lord is going to destroy Esau's power. He's going to take him out of power, man. You know? Let me, let, me ask, let me get a precept. This is Revelation 19 and 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire. He's talking about Yahweh Shai. And on his hand were many crowns. All right? And on his head were many crowns. I mean, Yahweh Shai is going to take the power, power right, or rulership away from the heathens. You know, from the heathen nations. He's going to take them out of power. You know, because the nation of Israel is coming in power. It's going to start when Yahweh Shai returns. Okay? It says, His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Okay? The Lord was going to destroy Esau. Okay? He's going, to, he's going to take him out of power, man. All right? And we need him to be out of power. But look at the way that look at the way his earth runs, man, under him. You you got Esau polluting the minds of the people. All right? You got him polluting the, 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 the you know, the way people think things ought to be. All right? You know, he's polluting the air, the water, killing the animals. All right? Esau is a literal cancer. Look at the definition of the word cancer. That's Esau, man. Comes over, you know, takes over your land, all right? You know, he pushes you out of your land. He tells you you're not a certain people. We need him from under this devil, man. You know, leave it to him. It, it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have a good ending, all right? We need from up under this devil, man. You know, this place has to go. And why wouldn't you want to get out of here, man? Why wouldn't you want to? You know, why? Ain't nothing good for you, all right? And under each other's rulership. Ain't nothing truly good for you under his rulership, man. All right? This is Isaiah 51 and 14. All right? It says, the captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed. And we're the captive exile, okay? We haste slash are eager to be loosed from being in slavery under Esau. And we are still a slavery, man. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, we still are, all right? It says, and that he should not die in the pit. So we're hoping we don't die in this hell that's coming. We're hoping we don't die in Jacob's trouble, man. You know? We don't want to, we don't want to die in Jacob's trouble, all right? It says, nor that the bread should fail. All right, we're also not looking to be destroyed by famine, but a lot of people are going to be destroyed by famine, man. A lot of people, a lot, okay? It's a lot. You know, let me get this scripture real quick. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the others that escaped them, I wish I had a sword destroyed. All right? And that's another scripture that reminds you of what? Amos. Amos chapter 5, verse 19. It says, As if a man did flee from a lion in a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. You know? So think about, like, you know, you're running from, you're running from a lion, right? You're running from a lion into a bear. Okay, so you're running from one danger, and you ran into another danger, okay? And then it says, and a, it, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. So you go into the house, you lean your hand on the wall, and a serpent does bit you, a snake does bit you, man. So pretty much what the scripture is saying, you know, 
Jacob's trouble, people gonna be running from one danger into the next. He ain't getting away. You escape one thing, the other thing is gonna hit you. And that was an example of 716. For them that roughly paraphrasing, those that escaped down and shot a sword destroyed. And it's better to be slain by the sword than by him. The scripture says that. And a sword ain't, you know, talking about a little sword, man. It could be a gun, you know. Let me get this in the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine the waste dripping through for one of the fruits of the field. You see? So, um, yeah, man, you know, this, 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 hell, this hell is coming, okay? You know, but the men of the Lord is going to be protected. You know, yes, some of us going to be martyred, all right? But nevertheless, you know, the elect is going to be protected, man. You know, they're going to be good. And all hell is losing everybody scrambling, you know, looking for, um, you know, the safe haven. You know, even going down to Esau and stuff, and Esau, you know, Esau, that ain't no security down there, okay? That ain't even no real safe spot for Esau. Jake, I know they're gonna run these Phoenix Kings, all right? But, um, you know, when all the hell is breaking loose, things is going haywire, the men of gonna be good, man. They're gonna be good, all right? They're they gonna be all right, you know? They're they gonna, they gonna be all right, man. So, uh, I'll just keep hearing. Always oh, back here. Right. Let me get this next one because this is also talking about famine. Okay? This is actually prophecy of something that's going to happen. Let me get this. Just scroll it. You know, we'll just flip to the page. 2 Corinthians 15, starting at verse 1. This is in the same chapter of the next verse I'm about to read after this. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth to save the Lord. Cause them to be written in paper that they are faithful and true. Okay? So, these scriptures, once again, read in Isaiah 55 11, you know how to learn how to, how to, how to word of Yahweh Hashem, how Shah is going to happen. Okay? And it's, and it's saying, cause them to be written in paper that they are faithful and true. These scriptures are going to happen. Right? Whether people want to believe it or not. Verse 3 Fear not the imaginations against thee. Fear not the imaginations against you, against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Incredulity means disbelief, right, or unbelief. So people who come against us and scoff against us, all right, we're not to let that trouble us, man. All right, you know they're they're my, you know pretty much they scoff or mock out of their unbelief, all right, or their disbelief of the truth. They scoff at you, laugh at you, mocking at you. You know, because out of their out of their disbelief, don't let that trouble you. Don't let it. All right. Now let me jump down to verse fifty-eight. Okay. So Second Genesis chapter fifteen, verse fifty-eight, and it says, "They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger, and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood." With very hunger of bread and thirst of water. So as things get bad, people will flee into the mountains for you know safety. Alright? However, the Lord, you know, will judge some of them, you know, with cannibalism because they don't have, you know, uh, food and water, etc. Okay? And people don't want to shoot to the mountains and stuff. You know? You know, for safety. You hear people saying that, you know, flee to the mountains, you know, we gotta shoot, you know, we gotta flee and stuff. All right, but hey, these wicked people out here, they, they, they don't understand what's coming to them. They may get, you know, some of them got a picture now, you know, some of these people in the world, they got a picture now, you know, the things that's coming down the line, all right? You know, it's coming down the line, but, hey, it's like, a, it's like a conveyor belt, okay? Right now, we're in a time where, you know, well, the elect is, you know, waking up the word of being preached, okay? But we're gonna be in Jacob Chuck very soon, all right? If you, if you wanna liken it to a conveyor belt, uh, what time we're in right now, you know, we the time, you know, the word going out, okay? You know, MOTB, you know, it, it, it's, it's about to happen, all right? But we're the last, we're the last part of this, you know, of the, of the Lord's movement, okay? But Jacob's trouble, 
or it's further, you know, it's, it's, it's not, I want to say further, like it's some, you know, years of, you know, 100,000 years from now. No, it's right around the corner, literally right down the conveyor belt, man. Because, like, you know, liken it to a conveyor belt. Okay? You know? And we ain't getting to the kingdom unless this happens. So we got to go through it. You know? But the Lord's going to deliver it away. And they ain't going to be with them all throughout it. You know, you got to believe that. Okay? And all hell breaking loose. And think, picture this. All hell breaking loose. Society collapsing. People don't know what the hell to do. People running around. You know, prophecies taking place. You know, it says more people, you know, swords in their hands. Other people out here with bats and, you know, with knives and guns fighting each other. All just chaos happening. You gotta believe, man, that Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is going to be with his elect men. He's gonna be with them. He's going to be with his. Believe that. Okay? You know? Yes, it, it, we're coming into a very frightening time. Alright? But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to be with his. Alright? He's his elect. You know? And meanwhile, when we're coming into this time, you got these false prophets coming up with all these different doctrines, all right? Just, just spewing madness, just spewing it, okay? Just spewing straight madness, man. Deceiving people, all right? Deceiving people, all right? And I believe Apostle Har said this, but, you know, it's up to, you know, President Big Millstone to, you know, to, to, to tell Jake, all right, and if, you know, and tell Jake that these other camps, when they're going off, Great Bill still has the truth. Alright? Great Bill still has the truth, man. Okay? So this is a responsibility. Alright? But you know, with Jake's in the world, they could um, you know, they could be, hey, the Lord don't want to put it like that. Alright? Because they're not waking up to the truth. Alright, the majority of Jake gotta die. Okay? You know, but hey, this is all part of the Lord's movie, man. So we gotta go through this part of the movie. You know, persecution is coming, MOTP, Jacob's trouble, all of that, World War II, all of that's coming, man. But so is Yahweh Shah's return, and so is the kingdom, and so is him taking Esau, Edom, and the rest of the nations out of power, okay, and us ruling forever. Remember, that's written as well. That is written as well, man. And what do the scriptures say? The Lord's, I remember, let me get the scripture real quick. This is the book of, this is the book of Numbers. Chapter 23, verse 19. Yahweh Bahashim Yamashai is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, shall he not do it? Why he spoke of it, shall he not make it good? Alright? So Yahweh Bahashim Yamashai don't lie, man. You know, so if he says something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Alright? Jacob's trouble's gonna happen. Us breaking up happens, right? You know, Jacob's still waking up. Alright? But. Take a shovel is going to happen. Right? Persecution. Okay. Famine of the word. The MOTB. All right. Etc. But also remember the kingdom is also written. And that's going to happen as well. But we've got to go through this. Okay. And the Lord is going to take our enemies out of power. In the end, Israel wins, man. <laughs> In the end, Yahshua wins. Okay. You gotta endure, man, and hold on to the faith to the very end. To the very, very end. Alright? All the way to when Yahweh Shah returns. It's Revelation 2 and 25. It says, But that which you have already, hold fast to life. And what is that which you have already? This faith, this knowledge, this truth. You gotta hold on to it, remain in it, all the way to when Yahweh Shah returns, man. Alright? that, you know, rather stay strong, just to stay strong, and give all the praises out in the Lord to whom the right is long, which is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh, Gosh, Yahweh, Lanas, and the others, the Pasha, to get most of the well, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect, man, and the only word, you know, one thing, you know, point to make, brothers, I know we go through trials and tribulations every day, all right, you know, but it's going to stop soon, man, you know, let me get, my friend, let's get one more scripture. First Corinthians 
chapter 10. Verse 13, have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh Bashanah is, is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. Alright? So Lord ain't gonna put more. He said, But Yahweh Bashanah is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Okay? You know? Or they won't put more hell on you than you can handle. Alright? You just gotta, you just gotta uh, endure. The scriptures say constantly endure. As a good soldier, Yahweh will ask me on side, constantly endure. Alright? Or, or endure hardness as a good soldier, Yahweh will ask me on side, constantly endure. Okay? As it says in you know, 2 Timothy 2 and, and, and Sirach. Most of them are but Yeah, man. You, know, you better stay strong and stay in the fight. Okay? that for the show of